July 27th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalm, Chapter 89, from the Old Testament. I will sing continually about the Lord's faithful deeds. To future generations I will proclaim your faithfulness. For I say, loyal love is permanently established. In the skies you set up your faithfulness. The Lord said, I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have made a promise on oaths to David my servant. I will give you an eternal dynasty and establish your throne throughout future generations. Selah. O Lord, the heavens praise your amazing deeds as well as your faithfulness in the angelic assembly. For who in the skies can compare to the Lord, who is like the Lord among the heavenly beings, a God who is honored in the great angelic assembly and more awesome than all who surround him? O Lord, sovereign God, who is strong like you, O Lord? Your faithfulness surrounds you. You rule over the proud sea. When its waves surge, you calm them. You crushed the proud one and killed it. With your strong arm, you scattered your enemies. The heavens belong to you, as does the earth. You made the world and all it contains. You created the north and the south. Tabor and Hermon rejoice in your name. Your arm is powerful, your hand strong, your right hand victorious. Equity and justice are the foundation of your throne. Loyal love and faithfulness characterize your rule. How blessed are the people who worship you. O oh Lord, they experience your favor. They rejoice in your name all day long and are vindicated by your justice. For you give them splendor and strength. By your favor we are victorious. For our shield belongs to the Lord, our King, to the Holy One of Israel. Then you spoke through a vision to your faithful followers and said, I have energized a warrior. I have raised up a young man from the people. I have discovered David, my servant. With my holy oil, I have anointed him as king. My hand will support him and my arm will strengthen him. No enemy will be able to exact tribute from him. A violent oppressor will not be able to humiliate him. I will crush his enemies before him. I will strike down those who hate him. He will experience my faithfulness and loyal love. And by my name, he will win victories. I will place his hand over the sea, his right hand over the rivers. He will call out to me. You are my father, my God, and the protector who delivers me. I will appoint him to be my firstborn son, the most exalted of the earth's kings. I will always extend my loyal love to him and my covenant with him is secure. I will give him an eternal dynasty and make his throne as enduring as the skies above. If his sons reject my law and disobey my regulations, if they break my rules and do not keep my commandments, I will punish their rebellion by beating them with a club, their sin by inflicting them with bruises. But I will not remove my loyal love from him nor be unfaithful to my promise. I will not break my covenant or go back on what I promised. Once and for all, I have vowed by my own holiness I will never deceive David. His dynasty will last forever. His throne will endure before me like the sun. It will remain stable like the moon. His throne will endure like the skies. Selah. But you have spurned and rejected him. You are angry with your chosen king. You have repudiated your covenant with your servant. You have thrown his crown to the ground. You have broken down all his walls. You have made his strongholds a heap of ruins. All who pass by have robbed him. He has become an object of disdain to his neighbors. You have allowed his adversaries to be victorious and all his enemies to rejoice. You turn back his sword from the adversary and have not sustained him in battle. You have brought to an end his splendor and have knocked his throne to the ground. You have cut short his youth and have covered him with shame. Selah. How long, O Lord, will this last? Will you remain hidden forever? Will your anger continue to burn like fire? Take note of my brief lifespan. Why do you make all people so mortal? No man can live on without experiencing death or deliver his life from the power of Sheol. Selah. Where are your earlier faithful deeds, O Lord, the ones performed in accordance with your reliable oath to David? Take note, O Lord, of the way your servants are taunted and of how I must bear so many insults from people. 
Your enemies, O Lord, hurl insults. They insult your chosen king as they dog his footsteps. The Lord deserves praise forevermore. We agree. We agree. God, we do that. We do what that psalm is talking about, where we're praising you and worshiping you and just thinking you're the best thing ever. And then we're like, why would you do this? Why is this happening? Why are you acting this way towards me? As though this is something permanent in our lives. God, I am so sorry that we are so, so small-minded. That we can't see past next week, much less just the end of our lives. And realize that you have a totality of planning throughout this entire world. From the beginning to the end. Uh, and we are just the smallest, smallest speck on that incredibly huge timeline that you have. That your plan for the entire world involves such a small, minute part of what we can do. And yet we make it like the biggest thing in the world. I know when I'm expecting to hear from somebody and I don't. I get so caught up in my world and I get so aggravated and so mad at them. How come they're acting this way? How come they're being mean to me? How come they're rejecting me? And I get so caught up in that world from that one little tiny thing that happened. And yet here you are looking at this big, huge, gigantic plan for the, for the universe. And how you have that plan for us here on the world. And you must just shake your head when we get so caught up in thinking that you've gone away or that you're acting unfaithful, which is kind of what they're saying in this psalm, not realizing that you have always remained faithful. You've always stayed true to your promises. Um, if we read the Bible, we can see your true character and why in the world we get so insecure listening to you. I have no idea. Why we end up in these places in our lives where we're so insecure, feeling like you've left us, um, we've lost you, that you're angry at us. And don't get me wrong, I totally believe and know that you've been angry, at least at me before. Um, and the discipline came and the consequences came. But to just ditch us, as the psalm is alluding to, uh, that would never be true. That wouldn't be consistent with your with your personality, with who you are, you ultimately will bring all of this to a head. You have a plan. You know where all this is going. All of this is, is your will, ultimately. Um, and how we cannot remember that when we get so caught up in the egotistical nature of our own lives is amazing to me. And yet, I do it. I probably do it almost every single day where I make such big deals out of the littlest things in my life. Or sometimes even big things in my life. But in the scheme of things, it is such a small, small portion. And so while I'm here on earth, God, with my small portion, I want to make sure that as much of that is taken up with what you want me to do. Instead of me whining and complaining and making it all about me. God, I just want it to be about you. I ask that you help me find that spot of peace, joy, knowledge of your consistency, so that I don't spiral into this worldly woe is me type of poetry like what the psalm is that we just read. And instead, I praise you. I praise you in the storms. I praise you during the great times. I praise you when I'm struggling so very hard. Because at all times, you love me. At all times, you care about me. At all times, you forgive me. That's baffling to me. But I do know that that's your true consistency, true consistency in your character. It's not mine, but I do know it's yours. God, thank you for being a consistent God that we can always have faith in. We always um, are clear about our boundaries and, and what you expect of us. And that you love us unlike anything that we can ever imagine. In your son's name we pray. Amen.